Many of the richest states from New York to California saw big multi-billion dollar drop-offs in tax revenues in December and January. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced last month that the state collected $2.3 billion less than expected. He blamed the new federal tax law, which he said is driving the wealthy to move from high-tax states like New York to lower tax states like Florida. Tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich. We did. Now, God forbid the rich leave. Now, almost every other high-tax state, you look at California, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, they all reported huge shortfalls in December and January compared with their original forecast. California's tax receipts came in $3.4 billion light. Now, tax receipts, uh, tax experts and accountants tell me that the fall-off probably wasn't due to wealth flight, but the stock market, and specifically that big drop we had in December. The biggest source of the shortfalls was estimated payments. Those are tax payments made for non-wage income, usually from investments or businesses. Now, tax, tax advisors say wealthy investors sold stock in December during those market declines to get the tax losses. That lowered their tax bills, but, of course, created this big shortfall for the states. Now, Moody's saying in a report that the revenue decline was owed in part to a volatile stock market's impact on capital gains income. The markets are back, of course, so far this year broadly, but those losses can be carried forward, so there could be more of a price to pay for those December declines. Guys, back to you. David, uh, um, Cuomo seemed to be blaming the lack of the SALT deduction, but it's going to be this tax season that everybody suddenly really deals with the fact that they're not getting that deduction. My sense would be, and especially given your reporting that it was more about the stock market, that that exodus he's talking about is yet to really come or come fully. Yeah, this isn't proof that it's not happening or that it's not going to happen, but it, it's unlikely that everyone or a lot of people would have moved so suddenly in December and January to create that fall off. <laughs> right. So, you know, we're, we're in probably for some April surprises, and there could have been people that moved out throughout the year. But you're absolutely right, David. That wouldn't have shown up so suddenly in December and January. I think it's going to be sort of an initially a slow trickle of people out and a slow decline in revenues as opposed to something this sudden. But I think we're going to see a lot of surprises in April. Like whenever you change the tax code this dramatically, you're going to get some surprises, maybe on the upside, possibly on the downside.